That is insane. Welcome back to an update on Project Electrolyte. I just got back from a couple shows out to Vegas for SEMA and then Sonoma Raceway with Holly High Voltage. Before I went, though, I had to get the car in show condition. I had not buffed the paint since I bought it. It was painted when I bought the car, but I did a, uh, a little bit of wet sanding. I did a heavy cut, a fine cut, and then ceramic finish and got it shining good, wheels and tires. Uh, here it is with the track uh, sticker. I did some videos uh, for my friend who has the tire rotation assistance card. Check out the link below. More on that in a minute. And then I got the car scaled just so I could answer questions. What does it weigh? 4358 and 55% of that weight is in the rear. Better than I hoped. Uh, to take it to Vegas I needed a trailer but I've been storing my dart in the trailer so I got the dart home. Cool to see these cars side by side. I hadn't had them together yet and uh, what a contrast from the the electric big block here to the uh, the old small block which has a uh, turbocharger on it I uh, love driving this dart it's really fun they, the cars are just so different they're about the same uh, as far as speed and power but just a different way of delivering and and uh, yeah I love them both here's the car in the trailer I had to modify my tie downs and make some uh, ramps for the ramp door but uh, traveled really good in here and we made it down to Vegas I got a long parking spot uh, so I could have the trailer with the car all together. Nice thing about the long spots is you get two charging pedestals or a, uh, a power pedestals, one for charging, one for the RV. Wiped it down again. We were there a day early, so we just went out and cruised. My dad and I went over to Counts Customs and uh, talked to some people there. Uh, I didn't talk to the guys in the shop, but um, just some other uh, fans like ourselves and inside his collection. Uh, really cool cars. If you're ever in Vegas, it was it was really neat. You just stop by, sign in, and uh, check out their their collection. Then back for some free charging. The campground usually charges you for the spot, and that includes the electricity. So uh, we just topped off the car, and then checking in at Vegas. This was really fun. We met so many cool people. Uh, it was just kind of casual in the line here, uh, waiting for our parking assignments and getting to know all the other builders the cars were just amazing like look at this yellow um, nova it was uh, just over the top we got some good parking here though this is right on the front corner of the central hall by the sema gear trailer uh, you can see that red trailer from a distance and lots of foot traffic because this is kind of the main entrance of the event uh, of this hall anyway once we were parked i went and helped uh, my friend with his booth uh, again this is the tire rotation assistance cart and also the the smaller tool and uh, check out their website. It really makes uh, removing tires and installing tires uh, really easy. So here I am with my dad. We spent a lot of time outside with the car, talking to people, answering questions, and uh, it was just a good time. Ran into Matt Hobber from Stealth EV. He's the guy that got me going. He got all my, he sourced all my parts. Good source of information. If you're building a car, check out StealthEV.com, and uh, I think it's a great way to to source your parts as well. This is the S2S truck, the uh, salvage to savage, and they did two large drive units, one rear, one front, and a Model 3 battery. Got to know these guys at the uh, Sonoma event, uh, met them briefly at SEMA, and uh, really fun hanging out and seeing what they did. Uh, this is just a super cool build, so more on that in a minute. And then I checked out the other EVs at SEMA. Here's the Mach-E and Shelby trim. Pretty cool looking car. I think this is the direction they need to go if you want electric cars. Uh, they just have to be cool in my opinion. Uh, I also like this Jeep. This is an 800 volt system in this Jeep and it's just a prototype right now but uh, I hope something like this comes out. Again, that'd be great for RV uh, towed. You just plug in at the campgrounds. The Illuminator crate motor from Ford. This is their Ford truck, uh, electric powered. Couldn't see it up close there but uh, it was pretty cool. Project X also has a the GM crate motor. Um, crate motor is I use that loosely. They they it's electric powered. This is a crate motor. This is a thousand horsepower uh, V8. This is way cooler than their electric crate motor. And um, but now this this is Revolt. Uh, this is in my mind an electric crate motor. This looks hot rod, billet aluminum, 
bolts up the way it should. Tons of power. Same power I've got in my car. Check out Revolt if you're looking at uh, any kind of crate build. If you want a front motor in your car, uh, that's Hot Rod. And now I'm uh, back at the car here. Found this artist, Dustin Hitchens, and he is awesome. He did a drawing of my car. He sat out in the sun for hours putting this together with markers, and he just nailed it. Super cool uh, rendition of the car. So I was really lucky to find him. SEMA was great, kind of a whirlwind, lots of lots to see. The week went really fast, and here we are cruising out with the other uh, vehicles. We did the kind of the cruising loop, and then I met uh, Nitto. The next day, we did a photo shoot. Uh, these guys are really fun. The way they just light up the car. I had to get some shots myself out in the desert near Prim, Nevada. And then they talked me into a little burnout here. insane so that was pretty fun that was my little roadrunner getaway uh as if i saw the coyote coming we lined it back here up on the tracks and took some more pictures so a good time headed home uh from this trip picked up my wife and we headed out to the holly high voltage experience in sonoma california uh, northern california had the Foggy mornings, but here I am with a couple other EVs, a Taycan, which is an amazing car, and then this uh, leaf-converted DeLorean. Uh, they had charging set up, and we had these garages, so did some more photo shoots in the garages. It was kind of an open house feel, really awesome event. I can't wait for next year. It was their first EV event. Uh, they invited the Tesla clubs, anybody with a conversion. Uh, here's the uh, S2S truck again. Great time with these guys. They've done a couple videos. Uh, they did a ride along in the car on the drag strip. And um, go check out our, their, their videos and their build. There's a link to their uh, YouTube below. Uh, just a lot of fun. Yeah, these are just hot rodders. They build everything. And this is an EV build, kind of right up my alley. Uh, we did a cruise through wine country. This is my wife and I. It was a bunch of Teslas. And then we took out the Plymouth. And uh, it was some somewhere between 40 and 50 miles. And just cruising these roads through the hills and twisties and it, it was uh, really a good route that we took Holly set up some photographers here's a shot they got uh, during the cruise and we just loved it uh, the the country as we were cruising by I mean these are just snapped out the window and this is just what it looks like uh, we didn't stage it this is at speed my wife was just clicking off pictures as we were zipping through the the turns and the hills so um, this is kind of how we kicked off the event. This was on um, the day before the, the the main events. And we got this cool overall shot. This is again from Holly. But uh, a lot of cool cars in this picture. You got the S2S truck, the DeLorean. You got Busy Moto's Porsche. You got Jehu Garcia's uh, bus in the back there. And uh, even Rich Rebuilds. They're, they're in the picture here by the Taycan. Uh, this is a really cool car, a Vissi Moto. You've probably seen this online. Uh, another uh, Tesla power plant, Tesla batteries, and really neat to see it in person. I've, I've drooled on it on the internet. And then Jehu Garcia's um, bus. I've been following him for a long time. We got to talk, and uh, he's been driving that thing for eight years on batteries. And then here I am with uh, Rich. They kind of interviewed me at the car, and then they did a drive of the car. So in It'd be interesting to see what what they come out with for a video here we are staging at the drag strip i love this little nissan leaf uh he's a great guy i'll put a link to his channel as well uh first time out at the track and um we just let it rip i i didn't know what to expect from the car but uh, it actually did better than i hoped i'm sorry 72 that car would have originally come with a 383 cubic inch or 440 cubic inch or 426 cubic inch gasoline powered engine. And it has been converted to electric and runs mid 12s in the quarter mile. Watch this. 1246, 107 miles an hour. 
in a classic Mopar. Bracket. That was my best time, a 12-2, and I didn't break out. Uh, I actually changed my dial and I ended up winning the bracket race on Sunday. So uh, that was a good time. And then I also walked away with the best EV conversion, which was quite an honor among the other builds there and all the other cars. So... I'd say the uh, the event was a success for Holly. It was a success for me. I can't wait till next year. I hope everybody can get out there, watch for it. Uh, it'll be about a year from now. Watch for Holly High Voltage and uh, come check it out whether you have an EV or not. I really appreciate you following along and watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I'll see you next time.